Tuesday. So probably do a walk for more for like exercise, get the blood going, and that's like low impact cardio, like fat burning zone. Maybe do an hour of that. Brain, body, being. For my being, being just. I've been catching myself this past week, uh, like make, having to purposely slow down with which there was like a few days where I was like totally slow and effortless and just calm and and then I I was like getting to the point where I was starting to like speed up again and rush and uh, you don't I don't need to do that <laughs> I don't need <laughs> the universe gives me what I want I just like kind of just sit back and chill and I have to take some actions and I did catch myself uh, trying to reject and not accept an action that was smart that I ended up doing like I, I, I was like trying to erase um, like whenever I got a feeling about something that to me was a sign that there's something in my subconscious that I need to clear out or fix so I started to just breathe and then after breathing let my intuition tell me what to do like do I want to answer this phone call do I want to take this deal do I want to write up this contract like that that's kind of um, kind of how it's working and uh, it, it it's your feelings can guide you once you breathe through them you can take the next best action that is in line with what you want and what you're asking the universe to deliver to you. And the universe is God too. For, for some people they call uh, the energy the God and they're like, oh, God's, you know, they pray to God. And why well, I, I kind of just tell the universe what I want as we're all interconnected and it's not something external to me it's inside of me too so like I'm putting out this vibration of what I want and believing and feeling what I want is already mine and uh, setting autopilot because I'm in stop and go traffic here and uh, I knew I should have left a half hour earlier. California. <laughs> so, every day is a challenge, every single day. So, yesterday's 90 minute uh, class. It was a super hot yoga class. It was super high humidity. We were like, and there were some pros in there. Like people have been doing practicing uh, yoga for many, 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 many years and even this type of yoga. And we were like, we all need like little badges that say we survived this class because it was crazy hot and like crazy humid. And like people were dropping like flies. <laughs> People were like walking out and <laughs> us tough ones though I did not sit out any posture I didn't I did the whole bam 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 like the only thing I did was a little modified um, a couple modified because my left knees a little acting a little weird it's been taking me two weeks to heal my left knee and I'm I was actually I'm on the second week right now, but I made significant progress in healing my knee in just one week. My uh, medial collateral ligament MCL on my left knee, and I was like, okay, I have to really focus on how to heal it, and it's not just, it wasn't just um, what am I doing in exercise that could be hurting it, it's what am I doing every day, everywhere, everything. So I monitored and I was even um, hyper extending my knee, not only in exercise and in postures, asanas and yoga, whatever. I was hyper extending, like strapping my kid in her seatbelt. I was hyper, extend hyper extending and standing in a way that was stressing my MCL, even um, 
just standing in front of the sink. So it's just like I had a, especially though, it was also strapping the kid in because I was just the angle I was at. And then also how I step into my vehicle. You're supposed to like turn around, bend down, sit in your car and then put your legs in because um, going in sideways is kind of bad for your back and your knees and everything the way we usually just jump into a car. So for people who don't know, it's, you know, bend and, but I don't do it. I don't do it. And um, <clears throat> the right way but it didn't, that doesn't seem to be impacting my knee. Uh, the way that I'm standing as I'm strapping my kid in was. And so it was two, it was a week of like focus on what am I doing to irritate this MCL and what am I doing? And when I focused on it, I focused on the healing of it. And, and then it's, I can't say it's a miracle. I mean, maybe, it does take just a week for an MCL strain, but there were times where it took me a month for my MCL to heal. So, brain, body, being. Uh, and I was talking about my knee because of that crazy class. <laughs> we all survived yesterday. And then the next thing is lower back and that's I already know that that's due to my lower abdominal muscles requiring just extra extra work extra work just healing extra healing and extra work and extra healing and extra work so and it's just I can that I can heal in a day like if my back hurts I know what to do to just and it's contract my lower abdominals and support that spine and then stretch my hamstrings so <clears throat> and these are signs and then when this shoulder hurts that means that I'm under stress from um, administrative usually administrative crap <laughs> so like you get to know your body and your body will give you signs um, there's a lot of merging that needs to go on here a lot of drugs So being aware of your body and the little things it, to keep you in tune with your mind and what's going on uh, is important in my opinion because to me it's helped me like when my shoulder was hurting I was like you know what I need to just chill and just breathe and not go so fast because it's because I'm trying to go fast. I think it was my shoulder started to hurt last Friday because I had to submit some documents that I had to put in order. and. I was trying to digitally sign them and just um, my software wasn't working properly. It was like one of those things where I filled out the form but then when I saved it and after I digitally signed it, it was blank and I was just like, damn. So <laughs> things happen and then I was just like, <sighs> but uh, no big deal. I like, for one of the things I was like, I took I let myself get stressed because my shoulder was hurting. I just printed the damn thing and hand wrote it and then I scanned it. But um, I could have just breathed and sat back and breathed and then just been like, well, let me just do it on my other computer where my other computer I know will save it properly. I was just, I, didn't, I felt like using that other computer, the desktop. In hindsight I've learned my lesson <laughs> and I think it, it's happened before PDFs oh my god that car is gonna cry not gonna crash oh my god I want, I gotta switch this kid's class. She's asleep. She's got a class that starts at five. It's like five to seven. She knows her lines. It's like um, prep for, for uh, commercials and acting and modeling. And I gotta go this way. I gotta merge this way, people.
and but then there's like Saturday classes and then those Saturday classes usually have more kids in them and I, I like the ratio of like fewer kids the teacher um, to be fewer fewer students to one teacher so it's like ugh, whatever After this though, I've learned my lesson. Like I'm not doing, I'm not driving. Like I'm not, I I, I think three o'clock is a cutoff point. Sometimes even two. Like driving around, driving between 10 to 12 is like, okay. And I'm talking, I'm only going like 10 miles. I'm going 10 miles to the supercharger and then to her acting class. It's Tuesday. Sorry. And my car drives itself and all like, you know, but it's just still like so many cars. That's why a lot of times she's been enrolled in these this acting class for like seven months or more eight months eight eight or nine months actually and we're only going to like the third one because I don't like I don't like driving at four or five o'clock just like no I mean, I drove across America and there were times where I started to feel like this feeling when it was going to be around five o'clock and I was driving through somewhere and there was no traffic. <laughs> it, was, it was not like crazy like California, LA, New York, or, you know, the bigger cities. I think there was only hit traffic in Cleveland, maybe. But nothing like, not like, not like those crazy pants, California. I, I think I met somebody in the Midwest too who said that they, they finished, they grew up here, they lived in California and then they were just like retired, I think in like, gosh, if I look at my supercharger videos, I, I'll remember. It's the, it's the video where I'm saying Carol Ann, Carol Ann. Don't go into the light, Carol Ann. There, I met this guy who was from here. He's like, yeah, I'm just retired out here because life is just slower pace and uh, but probably a hell of a lot cheaper too. You don't need as you don't need as much uh, resources to have a place to, a nice a really nice place to live and food. Uh, Gosh, this video is 18 minutes long already. <clears throat> I mean, I get it. I could see myself like at Alta Laguna, top of the world. You know, because there I'm kind of up high on a mountain, overlooking the water. It's, it's kind of like, you know, away from people, but there's still neighbors and people around. Uh, it does cost millions of dollars to live there. <laughs> um, but, you know, then I just go down the mountain and I'm right there. There's like restaurants, shops, supermarkets, John Wayne Airport too. Like right now, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm at Laguna, but like I don't have that big um, mountain commute or the 133. Like I'm kind of right there where I can get to John Wayne in 10 minutes, 5, 10, actually 5, 10 minutes. And then the freeways to San Diego, Los Angeles, um, and the, the companies and corporations in Irvine and the colleges. So kind of, I like situating myself there for right now. And I could see, I could see Alta Laguna. <laughs> 